Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Star Wars, a Rimworld tale, where our Jedi Temple is coming together, and Mira has completed the bill to create Jedi Guards. And we've got one awful one down there, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's a, no, you, you did a, you did a good job there. But we're gonna have a look and see what Mira is wearing. She's wearing uh, this hyperweave Twilight cultural garb. But we are gonna go swap that out and uh, give her the the Jedi gear because it's just gonna be a little bit more suited to her, I think. And she's wearing that just because she wants to. So we didn't even need to force her to wear it. So that's great. Fantastic, good stuff. So there is still some more deconstruction to be happening. Um, I leveled up, brilliant. That's fantastic. I'm sorry, Triton. <laughs> I'm getting ahead here, but that's okay. Oh, that was nice. Pyre and Triton were having a little bit of a chat there. The stir fry seems to be a hit. It seems to be quite good. Um, somewhat impressive dining room. So we're gonna get that to be more impressive over time. The bedrooms aren't very impressive yet either, but again, that is something that we are gonna see improving. Now I do have a cleaning zone on uh, that I haven't actually set up yet. So let's go ahead and have a look at our areas. So if we go to zone and areas, um, I think I should be able to create a separate one just for cleaning. Um, either that or we could just adjust the home zone for now. And you know what? I think that'll actually be easier for us to do right now. So let's just go to the home zone area and we're just going to go ahead and just clear the outside spaces. Um, just because we don't need to see all of that getting cleaned. I think it's fine that that gets cleaned. That's not a problem. Um, yeah, we don't want to see that get cleaned. And uh, yeah, you know what? That can get cleaned as well. Uh... I guess I claimed that. I must have. Something happened there. Um, it's okay with this area being clean as well. I'm fine with that. So we'll just uh, we'll leave it like that for now and see if that's going to work out or not. Um, Mira is actually doing some cooking for us. Okay, interesting. I really do want to see this space finished off um, as soon as possible. Would be great. That would be awesome. Um, now I want to make sure that yeah, that is actually in the right place. That one there. That's good. Low food. Yeah, let's make sure we actually do see a bit more than what we have at the moment. Oh, it's cool. We're having a chat. Having a chat. Talking about Jedi things. And actually, speaking of Jedi things, I can go ahead and put Force powers into something else. And I think I want to try and go into Heal Other. Because I think that that is going to be vital. Um, because I, I, I kind of see myself going more down that route of being more of a healer. Less combatant. I mean, I've got lightsaber defense right now. But I feel like that's where I've got to see myself going. In terms of other Force powers... I think it would be good to try and get pull because that's going to be able to bring our enemies into close range for us for lightsaber fights. Uh, and oh, wow, our fountain's actually working now. And it looks cool. Very nice. Good stuff. It's so dark in there now in comparison to everything that we've done out here. But um, seeing as this stuff has actually been completed, I think we should be able to start looking at getting this up and running. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to... Uh, Unforbid selection? Yeah. Boom. So now all of that is allowed. Uh, so that means there is a decent amount more construction that needs to happen. Maybe I should have waited until we'd finished this area off, but I think what I'm probably going to do is actually just... Um... Ah, so I think the reason why I haven't done the stuff in here is because this is sterile, because it's a, it's a cooking environment. I wanted it to be sterile. We probably don't have enough st silver or steel. No, we've got silver across the bank. We definitely have the resources available. I've seen the silver around here somewhere. It's hiding. I, I know it's out there. It's just hiding somewhere. But we definitely do have some silver that's still kicking about. It might have even been brought over into our pile. Oh yeah, we've got more than enough silver right now. So there's no excuse for us not doing that. So yeah, I'd like to see that happen. Um, why are we hauling the meals out here? So there should be no meals in here. So let's go ahead and turn all food off here because uh, we want to make sure that food is going to be stored in here. And right now, this isn't, it isn't actually a stockpile. So we'll make sure we go ahead and create that now. Uh, just stretching out this way across like that and right down to the door because we're going to maximize that space it will mean that we're walking over things that's fine let's go ahead and we're rolling time we are rolling time okay good we're going to go ahead and change and rename this to uh fr freezer actually because it's not a fridge it's the freezer um and we'll go ahead clear all and we'll just go food perfect so all of those foods are going to be stored in there that's fine we want the priority to be preferred maybe i think that'll be good yeah 
So we should see all of those get hauled in there now so that we won't have any other food go to waste ever again because uh, the peaches and everything like that, they are slowly starting to disappear. Um, I don't know how often they drink fruit drinks and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it gives them joy, so maybe it's actually under drugs or something like that. Possibly. Um, one drink per day. Yeah, I might just go social drugs only because you've got a chemical fascination, yeah. We'll just go one drink per day. Uh, and I don't know if that also accounts for, like, fruit drinks. <laughs> I guess they can be addictive. Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, my sleeping schedule's way out of whack. I guess that's okay. It'll, it'll have to do. So we have like these really nice kind of like waterways out here, which I think are going to look pretty cool once we actually uh, get that all done. Okay, am I going to continue working on that or not? Consuming stir fry. Great. Some good old floor stir fry, the best kind available. All right, nice. Cool. So I'm actually happy about, yeah, eight, eight stir fry, well fed stir fry. So that gives us plus. 10% to blood filtration and manipulation, so that's really quite cool. It actually enhances those just from the food that we're eating. So I, I kind of like that. That's actually quite a cool new thing that I haven't seen in this at all yet. Um, I'm looking at these bedrooms now. And I'm thinking, do I want to create another like wooden floorboard going down to there? Well, do I want to connect it like that? I'm actually okay with them the way that they are at the moment, but obviously we want to make sure that we get some rooms for them very, very soon. Um, so what we probably are going to be doing for the time being is giving them these rooms here and then when guests arrive we'll just swap around because I am going to build some more accommodation out the back this way because we can continue constructing this way. We can't go down because of all of this boggy mess but we can go up this way if we do get rid of the mountain but we can kind of expand out the back here a little bit as well because I think for the most part yeah it's all soil gravel there is even some rich soil there as well so we could actually do a little bit of growing just down by the uh, the water here and you know what that's probably actually worthwhile so let's just go chuck down a little growing zone just a little strip along there and we're probably gonna make that heel root um, actually having a look at all of these other things is it worth us getting anything else right now I don't know if we have coffee or anything else we're gonna just gonna go heel root there for now um, and let's have a look because I do have some other we've got tea there we've got psychoid cotton potato heel root um, let's go ahead and do one of coffee up the top there so we'll just do the same kind of thing, 4 by 10 and we're going to go ahead and change that to coffee. Yeah, there we go, brilliant. Okay, cool. And plus, I, you know, it's symmetry as well, because then we've got it all still lined up properly. Uh, we can probably get rid of this main stockpile soon, but I think we're probably going to do that once we have this area here constructed. Just because it's still going to be good for us to have things undercover. Um, I am going to need to create another stockpile. Um, probably near this crafting room here. Because you always want to make sure that you've got your resources close to where you're constructing things. Uh, I'm going to unforbid this just so that it can actually potentially get moved. How did you get inside? How do these cassowaries just like wander on in? I, I'm guessing that door hadn't been completed yet. That must have been what had happened, but yeah. Um, for the outside doors, I think we're going to kind of continue going on with the stone slabs. Don't you bloody eat my meal. <sighs> well, we know what happened last time trying to... Oh, God. Is that... Paya, is that a really a good idea? I, I, I kind of see that as being incredibly dangerous. So I'm actually going to ask you not to do that. And Triton, I'm going to have to ask you to attack it. There we go. Cassowary Revenge, it's just that one right, yeah, okay. Thank you buddy. Can you, can you finish it off or? Yeah. I think this is the second time. <laughs> are, are they coming in to help, I think? Okay, yeah, you can probably stop now. I think, yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you very much. Look at all this mess. Oh well, we do what we have to do. Could be worse could be worse all right what are you working on there limestone wall okay good all right so we are getting that constructed and we have a thermal store up there so that should be connected to our um not temperature hygiene so we'll just have a look go to plumbing it is connected in there but we need to come up with something that is actually going to heal it or rather heat it and i think solar the solar water heater is probably going to be the best thing for us to do and we can actually construct that right there which is awesome so it kind of actually just fits into that space and it's connected right 
towards this tank so I don't see why not I think that's gonna be good um, right now those toilets are working which is awesome so we don't need to worry about that either good stuff good stuff yay um, do I have any other bills there no let's go ahead and remove that and let's remove that as well uh, is butcher creature being done up here no it isn't so let's go ahead and go butcher creature um, forever and it probably is worth us making some kibble so let's just go do until we have uh, they go for it relatively quickly so we'll just say do until we have 35 and in terms of what we want them to be making it out of um, I'm fine with it being made out of any meat um, in terms of vegetarian you know what? anything as well I think I think that's actually gonna be okay because I'm not I'm not looking at planting a huge amount of hay although it could be worthwhile if we do want to try and do domestication to get a decent amount of hay planted eventually um, also just because hay takes such a long time to grow um, it could be worthwhile us actually getting that down you know sooner rather than later um, yeah we could just go for like an area where it doesn't look like we're going to be able to make anything although obviously on marshy soil fertility isn't super high already so not really worth doing anything on those spaces um i don't know if the marshy soil can actually be maybe it can because you know you know eventually with research you can you can get things that will drain swamps like even like these the marsh it can actually drain the marsh so if it can do that to those maybe it can do it to the soil as well and that would allow us to expand down this way but i'm fine with this area being our kind of power area i'm okay with that yeah no issue and triton triton nice he getting growing and because he is doing growing it is going to help improve his uh, force xp because he's doing something that he's passionate about at least i think that's how it works uses their skills select skill select skills increase force xp more than others ah okay so maybe some of the things that i'm increasing are increasing my force powers faster not sure um we do want to make sure that we are getting time to meditate though or at the very least like that should be something that we do for joy so i might have to look into this um at actually just putting in some force joy <laughs> actually just forcing us to to have joy at maybe the start and the end of the day yeah thank you mirror good work good work constructing brilliant um so for this room i'm probably going to want to try and do a slightly well i was thinking of doing a slightly different design but really to kind of keep things the same kind of style i think could work better so i think we are going to do the vertical wood around the outside and then for the inside we're going to do the wide wooden floorboards identical blueprint that's fine I'm not concerned about that there we go great and we'll do wide for the inside uh what did i miss up there okay cool that's fine let's just go back to that bam there we go great so they'll be chopping that down and replacing all those bits and pieces Judas looks so much cleaner now so much better it'd be good if the dirt didn't spill from those squares as much as it does but that, that's okay what can you do what can you do where is all the other construction happening at the moment happening up here I just can't quite place it well just because I don't have my headphones on I can't hear the left to right channel so I don't know exactly where that's happening but I know there's construction happening somewhere other than just here but it's good to see that that room is actually getting made as well um in terms of the floor layout in those rooms i might want to try and go for stone just to just to do something different so yeah whether or not we do like a mosaic mosaic could be quite cool to do around the outside something like that and then going yeah it's kind of that's kind of all right uh, although we're probably going to have things that are um covering that anyway but i think that should be pretty cool and i'm pretty sure that i made that all out of limestone right i think i hope i did there we go and limestone slab in the center perfect cool mirror fail construction that's okay mirror it's all good getting some coffee in brilliant uh for christmas i got a coffee grinder and i got this really cool um like italian coffee maker which is like it's it, it uses steam to draw um well it, it draws steam up from the bottom through the coffee and somehow it, it it gets it to boil over. i'm not exactly sure how it works it's cool though because you can just put it on a flame so you can use it anywhere so if i were to go into the wilderness i could make some pretty nice coffee and i am a big fan of coffee so 
I'm looking forward to trying it out. I've, I've, I've had one cup so far and it's been pretty damn good, so yeah. I think having coffee here as well will definitely help our, uh, our colonists. Low water temperature. Water temperature in this tank is too low. Colonists expecting hot water may get annoyed. Yeah, uh, it's because it hasn't been constructed yet. So how about Pyre, I steal you away to work on that. That would be cool. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got all of our fruit drink in there. No one's touched it yet. But Judas, I think Judas was actually hauling bits and pieces up into here. So that's cool. Can I ask you to chop down these trees for me, my friend? Cannot prioritize you to do it because you don't do constructing. What if I asked you to cut down the tree? Ah, then you might do it, huh? Actually, let's just go to orders and go uh, chop wood. That's gonna be easier. That's gonna get rid of all of that. Perfect. Be gone. What are you doing? Hauling steel slack. Why were you doing that? Where was he taking it to? Because we're not constructing anything with steel slag yet, so. Intriguing, intriguing, but, oh well. I am glad that we're kind of working on one room first. At least it looks like we are. Oh, damn, that's cool. I actually really uh, quite like that. I like the stone. I might end up doing more stone work in here. Actually, especially around the outside, I think we will. I think we might do mosaic because the mosaic does look kind of cool. Um, does take a lot more in terms of the stones to be able to do it, but I think it's pretty cool. And uh, you know what? I think it's going to be worth it because we want this temple to look the part. We want it to look badass. Okay, and we're getting those hedges constructed. Weirdly, I know you can't construct them like that because they're they're, they're more a direct a, a yeah. See, it's an artificial hedge, so it actually kind of does make sense that we're constructing them rather than than planting them because they're not real, but they look cool, and that's the main thing. Um, it does look like we can just walk across them anyway, which is kind of weird. I was hoping that we'd stick to these paths. <laughs> Same thing, we seem to be able to walk across the uh, the little um, the ponds and stuff like that. So I don't know whether or not we'll keep on doing that. Not sure. Not sure. Um, it's weird how like some things can happen really quick and other things just seem to take so much longer. Um, is that the... Yeah, that's also part of the freezer. Nice, cool. We just need to get that stuff dropped down there. It's minus eight in there, so all of that stuff is perfectly frozen. We're not going to see that uh, disappearing anytime soon. Cool. Okay, good. Um, someone dropped off their garb. Oh, was it you, Mira? You have dropped it off. What did you put your hype weave toilet cultural garb back on? Well, you know what? That's fine because it doesn't belong to a dead person. It, that's okay. We'll we'll let these things stay here for now. That's all right. Ah, oh, you've got a you've got a head piece on. I didn't see that before. And that also belongs to a dead person though, so it's like, uh, probably not the best thing for them to have. They also don't need to have something on. But then the maximum comfort range is actually pretty good overall. Um, so because this is still here for now, I think this is going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead, actually, why why are the ropes not getting made? Do they need something else? Oh, need hyperweave. Really? It uses hyperweave to make them. Interesting. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, hang on, you can go custom robe, so you can probably go custom, sorry, custom hood. So can you not do custom robe? Construction jacket. Custom Jedi robe. There you go. So that can be out of anything, I think. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Uh, so, and then it'll essentially be the same thing. Custom hood. And then we'll just go... Uh, we'll go five, because I actually don't have one right now, or rather four. Everyone's going to sleep. Judas and Mira are going to be sleeping in there for the time being, but you guys are going to get your own room. I promise you, and hey, solar water heater is up and running. Um, I don't know how long it's been up and running for, so we're not sure how much this is going to be storing for now. Yeah. We'll find out. We will find out. We'll just get this rolling, go through the night. Uh, we obviously lose a fair amount of power during the night for lights and and also the cooler So I might have to look at a alternative power source. So we could go for the wind turbine um, And I, I actually think that's gonna be fine I probably it, it would make sense to make it somewhere where we're going to try and do some growing um, 
And it could, it could also be somewhere for us to grow hay. So if I was to make this, say, over in this direction here, I think that would be fine. We could also do it on the marshy soil. Actually, you know what? There. Why am I not doing it on the marshy soil? Might as well, because nothing can grow on there. Well, it looks like some things can grow on there, so well, what can you do? Um, I, yeah, I'm okay with that. That's good. We'll go for that. Let's go for there. Perfect. And I will actually go orders, and we will create a zone. Not an orchard zone, a growing zone like so uh yeah one more up i think should be like that right oh it doesn't want to go past there okay growing zone that seems like it's way too wide now yeah there we go that's that's probably more like it that's more like oh okay no okay well actually you know what scratch that idea uh, but we do need to cut down trees around there. Uh, which is kind of annoying, because like some areas will have to do it. Um, and saying that, if you just create a growing zone and create nothing to be nothing there, you're just going to keep it clear. So that can also work. So I guess I can kind of just go like that. And then go like that. And then if I change that to... I can't change it to nothing. Well, you know what, let's just make it hay grass for now. Although it's strange that I can't do it on, on those spots there. So it kind of doesn't work. Yeah. Well, actually, stuff that idea then. We're just going to have to ask them to chop down wood occasionally. Uh, either that or I will end up just building more solar generators to go in that place. Um, this room's come together really quite quickly. I'm liking that we are seeming to get together a lot more often. And look at that. The Empire have brought some bulk goods. Okay. All right. We're not going to attack them. We're going to let them roll up and, oh, look at them. Rocking in on their alpacas. <laughs> it actually looks like Mal is riding that alpaca. I'm going to imagine he is. Okay. All right. Yeah. A lot of soldiers. Interesting. We've got some stormtroopers as well. Cool. And is it Herbster, who's a tunneler? You're the person that we want to talk to, right? Okay, buddy. Okay. Well, we don't have anywhere for them to stay or anything for them to buy just yet, but we're, we're getting closer. These troublesome monkeys, though, need to watch out for them. Need to watch out. And, uh, oh, why, why, why? Uh, this problem again? Really? We're doing this thing? Okay, we're doing this thing. That's, uh, that's annoying. Okay. Stop doing that. Uh, no, not deconstruct that. Not that. How about, oh, okay. Okay, so this is this is the issue again with these things here. Okay, so we're gonna deconstruct the square wall then. Yeah. Go how about how about you do that, eh? Yeah, do that. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and build a copy of that. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, so square wall lamp. So that, that that essentially might mean the same problem is gonna happen here if I don't get that square square wall lamp right. No, that should be fine. It yeah, it, it, it's weird. Like, I've, I've used those before, and they've been fine being in a square. I don't, I don't understand why. Because it's also a wall lamp, right? So you want it to be on the wall. So you'd think you'd want it to be like that. But I think it's saying, yeah, I didn't build it like that. So I, I, I'm just not going to use them. Because uh, I don't think that's going to help us out. So we could go for a small chandelier. Um, the only problem with that is that it doesn't really center itself, which is kind of going to be frustrating. So I guess standing lamp is the way to go then. That's fine. We'll do a standing lamp. And we might have to do a similar thing in there. And you know what? Standing lamp is is fine. There's nothing wrong with a good old standing lamp. It will be a little, you know, off center. I think that's okay. That's all right. We can live with that. Uh, yes, 100% hot water. Fan friggin' tastic. Now, is it all set up? Is uh, is that all working properly? Because then we should be able to have proper baths and oh yes, oh yes, it is set up. It is working. Fantastic. As soon as this tree is cut down, I'm going to ask myself very nicely to go ahead and prioritize deconstructing both of these so that there is no will to try and use them. We're going to keep those ones over there. That's fine. I'm fine with that. But we don't want us to be you know, going over there and using those. When we've got perfectly good toilets, that will work just fine. Just fine. Okay, this this has actually come together really well. So we're going to have a look at constructing a few things that we haven't placed down as of yet. Flower arch, that's cool. Um, 
it's actually a marriage spot as well. It'd be quite neat to be able to have that. Oh, I, you can't rotate it. That sucks. Because I wanted to have it to be like an entrance to this place. Unhappy nudity. Who's nude? Who's nude? Judas, why are you nude? You're wearing Jedi garbs. Do you not have anything like on your lower? I thought that's how they worked. Um, no, I guess you need pants still. Yeah, okay. Well, in that case, let's make some pants. <laughs> Um, or actually shorts. I mean, either or could work. I think shorts are probably going to be more comfortable, but then pants are pretty easy to make as well. Um, just regular pants, please. Where are they? Pants. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and make three pairs. Okay. Uh, and I'll actually make that more of a priority as well. So we'll go bills, and let's go ahead and make, make pants more of a priority. So I know that Mira has just started making something there. What, you, what was that? Jedi robe, that's awesome, but yeah, I think we do need those pants. And hey look, everyone's here. Now, as to who's gonna go talk, I think it's between myself and and Judas, right? Uh, let's see, social seven, social five, social five, social seven. Uh, so myself or him, whoever's closest. Uh, and right now I think that is, yeah, we'll get Judas to do it now because he's just cleaning. So Judas, you're gonna go talk to Erbster. Probably better that he talks rather than the Jedi because, uh, I don't know if they've figured out this is a Jedi temple yet, but they might start to get an inkling. And we know that they don't really like the Jedi too much. Well, they might not be aware. Let's just hope it doesn't get back to the Emperor. Then we'll be okay. Could be worth us having some Imperial credits for trade. Um, first thing that I think we want to try and do is just sell off a whole heap of bits and pieces. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to put a pause into the record, just so you don't see me just thinking about it for a long time. So I'll be back with you all in a moment. Okay, so I have returned, and I wasn't actually gone for all that long at all. All I really did was just sell a few of our, like, dead people clothing, and just a little bit of our materials that we didn't have a huge amount of. Um, what I have done is I'm looking at buying 100 Imperial credits, just because silver does not seem to be the best way to trade with them. So I'm thinking this might be better for us in the long run. It's good for us still to have some silver, though, um, because main main thing that I'm kind of thinking about here is um yeah we need to make sure we have silver to trade with some others as well so i think it is going to be better for us to have maybe a balance between the two so we are going to go for 100 imperial credits there um as we can see that they're, they're just chilling out there we're going to make sure that they actually get hauled back so that they're safe um they've got some weapons on them right yeah heavy blaster rifle it, it's like bl capital it's intense no um yeah a little concerning though right a little concerning um, so, as guests, oh, so not a guest, okay, that's good, that's good. We don't need to worry about that, but that is how we do that, if we're going to. Um, apparently there is still some steel just kicking about over here. Yeah, there is, there is a, yeah, we've got a few bits of steel. Nice, and that's not going to degrade, that's going to be perfectly fine for us to leave out there. Uh, unless someone comes along and steals it, which is unlikely, I don't see them doing that, but, um, you never know. Um, we're probably going to keep this, well, I was going to say, I was, we're probably going to keep this area without a huge amount of light, but it would be good for us to have something for the butcher. Um, yeah, because otherwise it's, it's not, it's not the nicest. Not the nicest work environment then. It's also already really quite cold when you're inside here, so I think that's going to be worth it. So, uh, let's see, what do we want to try and do in terms of light there? Uh, I'm, I'm not impressed so far with, uh, some of these, so... Maybe just a ceiling lamp right over the top. Yeah, I think that's fine. Ceiling lamp, boom, that'll work. And you know what? Might actually even just be able to do the same thing here. That could be enough light for in here. You might not need to have a massive amount. Um, so we'll see whether or not that, that is the case. Uh, everything we need is already there for that basin. I haven't seen anyone take a bath as of yet, but I'm hoping that we do see someone do that soon. Um, we've actually run out of um, limestone blocks cool okay i'm actually glad glad to see that we have actually been doing work with them um now not sure how i want to lay this out yet i was talking before about putting some stuff down i think we're going to do that before we do anything else so i was having a look at misc and everything we definitely want some tool cabinets to be in there uh let's look at production um okay so we can't actually hang on am i missing something here because we don't have access to the comms console or do we? No, I don't think we do. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get the simple research bench up and running first, I think. Ah, oh, that's interesting. And this actually fits in really well right there. And I think that it looks cool as well. 
Uh, not always the best thing though. <laughs> Looks cool isn't always the right thing, but uh, we might end up doing that actually. Um, and we've got a decent amount of cloth, so we are going to build some nice um, seats for them to, to sit in. Um, cushion chair, yeah, cushion chair is going to be nice. We're going to make that out of cloth. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got that there. Um, if we were going to put the stone table in here, we could kind of go like that. I mean, we could go up against the wall, but then I feel like it's still you're still kind of blocking the area off you know whichever way you go hmm we could go like that and have like the tool cabinet in the center i think that would work because then you can also have something on the other side yeah i think that works okay we're gonna go for that and we're gonna go ahead and build a copy of that uh we're actually gonna make an electric one just because it's gonna be better for us in the long run uh, we can make it out of bamboo. That's cool. No, let's just make it out of wood. That's fine. Yeah, we've got enough, more than enough wood kicking about right now. And for the chairs, we will go ahead and just chuck them there, like so. And uh, we'll go get a tool cabinet while we're here, because why not? Go ahead and drop that right down there. It also looks good as well. Um, so the comms console, once we actually do get that, we're probably gonna have to put that somewhere else because that's not gonna work where it is at the moment. Um, okay, jumping back into here, let's have a look and see. Uh, I hate that, like I just wanna be able to get things centered, right? I want it to be able to go right on that square. Oh, we can, if we do small chandeliers, it will work. Um, and I, I think small chandeliers might be okay. Oh, we need to have a roof in here first. Fine, fine, we'll let a roof be built. Um, well, that actually does need to be finished off first, so. You know, I could just ask them to do it. Um, we're gonna go for build roof, and we're just gonna expand. Bam. So we should see a roof get placed all the way along here, which is what we want. Before it even gets sealed off. That's okay. Um, yeah, uh, I think before we do any of that though, I think, Hang on, we're going to put that back to do forever, and I'm just going to unsuspend that. Uh, so, Because we do need someone doing it. Don't know if we're going to be able to get someone doing it right away, but um, Paya's going to come over here, start chucking down the roof. So, at the very least, I can get the rest of that construction place down. And uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to do just that. So, furniture, once again. And chandelier. Uh, we're just going to go for small, right? Or one large. Actually, one large could do the job. It could be enough for us. Have it kind of spaced right there and it will also look cool which uh, as we know is very important <laughs> all right um i haven't seen a huge amount of cooking from triton um just because we haven't had a lot of uh, other ingredients coming in here so i might need to do a little bit of a harvest around here it looks like these bananas are good to go so we're going to go harvest there um it's kind of nice that you can just have a look around and just see what's available like that spec to go i got attacked by a fly then um, let's see, uh, the peach tree, ready to harvest, brilliant, okay, you, I don't even know what you are, but let's go for the spec to go, and we've got some peaches, which are not ready as of yet, okay, uh, some more spec to go, good, the spec to go is pretty much all good to go around us, and we'll harvest you as well, Mr. Banana Tree, perfect, okay, so that's gonna keep someone busy, and, um, I'm happy with those credits for the time being, because it's like, I, I think between different traders, it is going to be worth different amounts, and, you know, it's going to be worth it. Uh, Paya, what is tattered that you're wearing? I think it's your, uh, it's this, right? Yeah, so what we need to try and do is actually start to, to give them some proper outfits, because right now, they're just wearing anything at all, and we, we don't want that. No, so I'm going to have to have a look, possibly between this episode and the next, at just setting up some, um, you know, some different um, outfits for them. Um, they're going to be pretty similar from person to person, but um, yeah, it's just that they aren't wearing trash because that's going to keep them quite upset. And you don't want that. We want them to be feeling happy about life. Um, I'm pretty happy that this area is actually coming together. Slowly but surely we're getting there. I don't know why I stopped halfway through that one there, but um, it, it, it's going to come together. And then we'll finally have a production room where we can make things. Um, I haven't seen anyone use the bathroom yet, which I'm a little concerned about. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we will actually see 
people utilize those because we just haven't yet. Um, needs, uh, hygiene's actually fine, bladder's fine, so yeah. Somewhat impressive dining room. Once we get a bit of art going, I think it's gonna be good. Slept in the cold. Why did you sleep in the cold? How, how could you even sleep in the cold? It's like 23, 19 degrees everywhere, so I don't know how we did that, but I'm not sure. Random potatoes just outside though, that's strange. But the bananas, how many did you get there? Looks like an okay haul, yeah. Okay, so the stir fry, is this stir fry consisting of meat and bananas? Because if that's the case, that's a, that's a strange ass stir fry. Coconuts, actually I guess it's not the weirdest. So yeah, I think we've got coconuts, potato, and some bird meat. So it's a it's an interesting one to say the least, but I think it's gonna be a nice stir fry. Um, I think we probably wanna have this reserved for stir fries more than anything though. Um, so bowl of stew's fine. We're gonna turn drinks and sweets off, and I think we are just gonna go for stir fry. Yeah, because eventually we will we will be able to work our way up to um, making stew, but for now stir fries are where it's at. And that's what we want to have. This is nice though, that they're able to just hang out together at the end of the day, have a good time. Nice. Very nice. Okay, well guys and gals, this is where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. Thank you all for joining me for another one. Um, the colony is definitely looking better than it has before. I feel like we're actually really starting to get somewhere. Um, and we've been pretty lucky in terms of um, how things have worked out for us so far. I feel like because we're keeping a neutral stance for now, things are okay with us between the empire and the rebels but we'll see what goes down there because uh we haven't seen any fighting yet but you know if they turn up now it's like you know will we be forced to pick a side who knows we might just have to do that but guys and gals it is going to be in the future so for now i will leave you i have been rykon you have all been awesome and until next time may the force be with you